create everything. All right, guys, so last time we showed how to get your geolocation using the API. Now we're just on back on this page real quick to look at I, if we're fulfilling or headed in the right direction of our user stories. So I can see the weather in my current location. Almost there, we're just not displaying it all yet. Um, I can see a different icon or background image that we're going to tackle this last. And then I can push a button to toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay, so this is probably the next one that uh, is on our list. So. Uh, here's our API. Now, if you if you don't remember how to store stuff in variables, we're going to show that right now. So we wanted to do Fahrenheit and Celsius. See if there's a temp. There is. Um, this is in Kelvin. I, I looked it up beforehand when I did this. So um, how we're going to do this is we're simply this is a uh, object that has some data in it. So we're going to go ahead and just call the object and get the data. Um, so in this example, it would be data.main.temp. And let's make sure that's what I did right here. So cool. So you'll see right here, data.main.temp. It comes out in Kelvin. Um, Kelvin's no good for us. They want it in Celsius or they want it in, in um, Fahrenheit. So um, we have a few other things we're going to do. Up here, I created a variable called temp. We're actually going to change this to um, Fahrenheit. We'll just put f f uh, fair, far, we'll put far. Um, actually, F temp would probably be best. Yeah. F temp, there we go. So in this example, we're gonna take F temp here and simply convert it to Kelvin. I'm not, I'm not awful with physics, um, so, or take to convert it to Fahrenheit. So this is basically just a formula for converting Kelvin to Fahrenheit. Now what we could also do here is we can set a Celsius. So because we're going to need to be able to switch back and forth. So we'll just create a var here called C temp. Leave it empty. And you don't have to do it this way. I just typically like to keep it's kind of a some bad habit from learning Java first. But I like it. Um that's neither here nor there. Sorry, so here's our Fahrenheit temp. Uh Kelvin uh we should probably change that to ktemp to follow the the uh, path we have chosen with our naming convention. And we'll just go ahead and do this as well. We don't have to, but it's how I prefer to do it. Actually, it'd probably be better to do it within this specific function, so that's bad on me. To do that but uh, anyhow so we have our F temp K temp and now we need to set our C temp and C temp is going to be equal to let's find the formula so we have our K temp it's K temp minus 273 and that will take our Kelvin temperature convert it to Celsius now we don't need to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit because we've already done this and all we have to actually do when toggle is switch between them. So in the next video we'll create a button to toggle with this and then we'll start styling it, styling the buttons, adding a default background and in that, after that's done we're going to go ahead and actually write the um, conditions for which a new background would come in if it's snowy or if it's raining, etc, etc. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.